Hey everybody, how's it going? Travel Man Dan here, and welcome to Food Friday. Man, today is gonna be awesome, because I'm here in Riga, Latvia, in, well, I'm in Old Town Riga, and man, we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna walk around, and we're gonna try to find some delicious foods, whether they be on the street, or whether it be on a store, or whether they be in and out, all kinds of little stands here in Riga. So sit back relax and get ready for this awesome episode because i know just the place we're gonna start let's go check it out all right so the first place we're gonna go to is one of the places well that i've missed the most that has been on my palate for years you know i love to eat these things but you've never seen anything like what they have here that's right we're in well the main entrance to old riga and we're gonna go into Ta -da! Good old Circle K, baby. Circle K. I know what you're thinking. A gas station? But sit back, relax, and let's go check it out because I got to show you something that they have here. Well, that's autonomous to Latvia. I've never seen it anywhere else in the world. And that's what I'm talking about. Right there. Hello. We're going after that. Right there. The double hot dog, baby. Double hot dog, baby. All right, I'm really excited about it. All right, everybody, are you ready? Here it is. I couldn't film much inside because, well, policy is they didn't want people to go in there and start filming. I can understand that, I can respect that. I deal with it all the time. Plus, the young lady that was in there serving me up, well, she was a little camera shy. But are you ready to check it out, baby, for the double, 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 double action hot dog? Hmm. <laughs> Look at this and all of its glory. Do do poke and you here we come. Look at this. All right. All right, so let's get into it. What we have here is it kind of looks like a sub roll, kind of looks like a French panini roll. And and that's exactly what it's well called as it's the French style hot dog where they put a hole in it and they drop the hot dog down in there like this. But before they do that, they go ahead and squirt the ketchup, squirt the mustard, and on this particular one, I got mayonnaise at it. So, if we take a look at the two hot dogs serving up here, one is, well, it's a red one, and it is more of a spicy flavored hot dog, and this is your traditional Frankfurter hot dog. So, we got two different kinds, and you can also order chorizo, so if you like that hot, uh, spicy kind of um, sausage that's what you want to try but let's go ahead I'm gonna bite into both of them at the same time and we're gonna get started here on this double hot dog here with travel man Dan on food Friday in Riga Latvia mmm 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 look at that Mmm. Wow. Delicious. I mean, first, the bread is warm. It's soft, but it's also got a crispy, well, grate on it that they put in a panini press right before they serve it up to you. And this one is your traditional Frankfurter, which is commonly referred to as an American hot dog. Maybe a Dodger dog or whatever you're famous for in your town. Buffalo, New York is famous for Ted's Salem's hot dogs. And that's what I taste when I bite into that. Just that traditional hot doggy flavor. Then we got Mr. Red Guy over here. And that is more of a, well, it's not a super hot, spicy hot dog. It's just a nice, clean, also, uh, it's just a nice, spicy, not overbearing, not overpowerful, well, hot dog. Mm. That is nice. Oh my gosh, look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Man. All right, now, after biting one at a time, I can better distinguish the red flavor. It's, um, it's more almost like a Polish sausage, but it's considered a hot dog. And well, although this does look like a sandwich in a lot of cases, and sometimes in America, what you can do is 
you can slice the hot dog in half and lay it in there on the bun like that. Kind of what Five Guys does. If you've ever had a hot dog at Five Guys, that's what they do. But here in Latvia, they give it to you like this, almost like two eyes. Look at my hot dog eyes. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? I got hot dog eyes. <laughs> oh man, I really missed you. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious, baby. Mm. Mm. Then if we get down to the bottom, you can see we got the spicy brown mustard just slapping itself coming out. And then over on top, we got a little bit of mayonnaise. You know, Europeans like a lot of mayonnaise. And then all within that is a whole bunch of ketchup. Mm. Mm. That was a good bite. Now I know what you're thinking. It seems like all the condiments are at the bottom because that's where they squirt it in. Then when you slide the hot dog in there, it does get tucked down in there. And well, you're exactly right. The first couple of bites, although they're tasty, they can also be a little dry. So when you get to the bottom part, well, it's kind of like when you get to the bottom of that ice cream cone at the store and they got that little tip that's just solid chocolate. Down at the bottom, as you can see, it's filled with the condiments and it's just oozing out. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Ma'am. You know, Travel Man Dan, if you haven't seen. If you haven't seen my videos on hot dogs, I'll go ahead and throw up a card right now when I was at Pink's Hot Dogs. I love hot dogs. It's probably one of my favorite foods. That's why I try to eat them in each and every city I go to, just to see the different style. But this one right here, the double hot dog at Circle K uh, Grocery Convenience Store, well, I've known about it for a long time. I tried it a few years back. I really missed it, and I'm excited to go ahead and show the world this double hot dog. Mmm. Man. Very, very good. Mm. Then, to wash it all down, go ahead, get a little Red Bull action. Ah. Now, I know what you're thinking, product placement. No, I'm not sponsored or anything with Red Bull, but Red Bull, if you ever want to do anything, let me know. <laughs> anyway, that was the double hot dog here in Old Riga at the Circle K. That was fantastic. I loved it. Probably going to eat a bunch more, but I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I got a little bit of a sweet tooth. So let's see if we can walk around this town and find a cake, a pastry, uh, well, something delicious, a dessert. Kind of like what we did in Copenhagen when we ate the hot dogs and then we went over and ate some danishes. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and throw it up there right now. But man, let's go try to find something sweet, some kind of dessert, and some kind of delicious tasting Latvian cakes. Let's go. Pinks, famous for all the great tube steak concoctions that it serves. It's been around for 79 years. They have all kinds of variations and styles of their own dogs and go ahead and order the Lord of the Rings dog. I'm also gonna order the Planet Hollywood dog. What the hell did I order? <laughs> Look at the size of these hot dogs and these creations. The hot dog is actually longer than the bun. Mm -mm -mm. Oh no. Hello. Hi. Hi. But well, let's get back into this delicious sucker. Look at this. Holy crap. This is some good food right here. All right, the Lord of the Rings. Right from the first bite, crunch from the onion rings, mixed with that delicious barbecue sauce. Then you snap into the hot dog, and the hot dog is delicious. Well, here goes the last of the Lord of the Rings. Mmm. Delicious choice. 
If you do come here on a date, that might be one that you want to steer clear of. The creations probably have changed over the years, but one thing that hasn't is the great food. And the service is very good here too. Now it is time for Planet Hollywood. What we're looking at is not a hot dog. This is actually a Polish sausage link. And if you can see it, it's pretty thick, coated with nacho cheese all over it. Then it has grilled onions and mushrooms drizzled on it. And then to top it off, you got crispy, fresh bacon. Mmm. <clears throat> ah. Wow. Look at the inside of that guy. You can see the peppers in there. We're down to the last bite. Um, but here it goes. Last bite of Pink's. Thanks again for watching. I'm Travel Man Dan. And remember, it's a big world out there. Make sure you see every bit of it.